From Tatooine to Mustafa, the best of the Yadda Rim, it's the one and only Star Bazaar, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Star Bazaar. Today we are talking about reinforcements in Star Wars Battlefront 2 and what a new class of reinforcement could look like. Currently in the game, we have two classes of special reinforcements we can spawn as by spending our saved battle points, those being the Aerial and the Enforcer. Pretty straightforward, the Aerial provides quick movement with a jetpack and Enforcers are team anchors who deal massive damage. There have been rumors and leaks of unfinished assets of a third reinforcement class called the Sentinel, though today's video is a concept of something entirely new, and if you're a fan of lightsabers and melee combat, you'll probably enjoy this a lot. Just so we're clear, these are just conceptual ideas and are not indicative of any new content. This is just a fun video where I'm sharing some ideas and if you have any ideas of your own, please feel free to share in the comments section. I'm a pretty creative guy, but I've seen some of your guys' comments and ideas that absolutely blow mine out of the water, so I fully encourage it. Let's get started though, and allow me to introduce the concept of a melee class, the Guard Reinforcement class in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Programmed, trained, or raised in the art of hand-to-hand -hand and melee weapons combat, the Guard are elite soldiers usually assigned to protect important military or government officials. The Guard are unique in that, while they may be skilled with blasters, they prefer to get up close and personal and use their physical strength and martial abilities to dispose of targets. There are many different organizations within the Star Wars universe who have a guard or some similar security branch, though for Battlefront 2 we only need to look at the six present factions. Since Battlefront 2 goes based off what is officially canon, I will be doing the same, so no Legends elements will be included. But let's take a look at our first pair of factions, the Rebels and the Empire, as an example, and let's see what could fill the role of guard class for those two sides. For the Rebels, immediately the first thing that comes to mind are the Rebel Honor Guards we see protecting Yavin 4 in A New Hope. These guys actually made an appearance in Battlefront 2015 as bodyguards that could spawn on Leia and help protect her. They were basically mini heroes and it was always cool to be able to play as them since the only way you could was if Leia was somewhere on the battlefront. Bringing these guys back to Battlefront 2 in the form of a new reinforcement class would make a lot of players happy I think. The Rebel Honor Guard in Battlefront 2015 wielded a DH-17 blaster pistol, though in the film they carried electro poles, long melee weapons tipped with an electric conductor used to damage enemies. Seeing Honor Guards running around the battlefront and whacking enemies with an electro pole would be a sight to behold. For the Empire, we have two possible options. The first is an asset that exists in Battlefront 2's campaign already, and that is an Imperial Riot Trooper. Equipped with a riot control baton, these troopers are usually assigned to worlds to keep crowds in check. These guys are already in the game, and seeing them as a playable option would be cool, but I would honestly rather have the second option, and that is the Emperor's Royal Red Guards. As a guard class, it would be right there in the name, Red Guard, plus it would make a bit more sense for these guys to be a special reinforcement over a riot trooper. In the movies and the Rebels TV show, Red Guards are equipped with force pikes powerful melee weapons that have different settings for shocking, killing, and even projecting an anti-gravity field. The pikes are capable of blocking lightsabers on high settings, so seeing a fight between this guy and Luke, for example, would be awesome in Battlefront 2. These are among the most powerful characters in Star Wars who are not force sensitive, and just like the Honor Guard, they also make an appearance in Battlefront 2015, so to bring this asset back into Battlefront 2 would be a great idea, I think. Moving into the prequel era, the Republic and Separatists both had their own versions of a guard as well. For the Republic, Chancellor Palpatine usually didn't go anywhere without his flank of Senate Guards. These bad boys in blue are what eventually turn into the previously mentioned Red Guards in the waning months of the Republic. By the time Palpatine formed the Galactic Empire, the Senate Guard had dissolved and been replaced by the Red Guard. The Senate Guard also carried Force Pikes, just like their Red counterparts, and were expertly trained assassins. We don't get to see them in action in the movies, but in the Clone Wars TV series, we get a taste of what these guys are capable of, and if they can fight side by side with Jedi, then they deserve a place as the Republic's guard class. I think most of you saw this next one coming. For the Separatists, what better droid to fill the role of guard than the Magna Guard? Seen many times in the Clone Wars TV series and in Episode 3, IG-100 Magna Guards are elite troops that carry Electro Staffs powerful double-ended melee weapons that can deflect lightsabers and inflict immense pain when hitting a target. General Grievous is almost always seen flanked by at least two Magna Guards, and in a few episodes of The Clone Wars, we see Count Dooku use them for backup as well. 
They are powerful droids, and though our Jedi heroes usually take care of them fairly easily, they definitely put up a better fight than the B1 battle droids do. The Magna Guards were a playable option in the classic Battlefront 2, though they used a blaster and not a melee weapon. These guys are a fan favorite though, and with General Grievous being added to Battlefront 2, it makes all the sense in the world to add these guys as well. On to the last pair of factions, the Resistance and the First Order, this one actually gave me the hardest time. First Order was pretty easy actually, since we have several options, but since we are only two movies into the new trilogy, with minimal tie-in material like books and comics, we don't have a lot to go off of for a guard class for the Resistance. For this reason, I could see the Battlefront 2 developers collaborate with Lucasfilm and introduce a new troop into the canon like they did with Aiden, and that could be a Resistance Honor Guard. It may sound like a cheap ripoff of the Rebel Honor Guard, but isn't the Resistance just a cheap ripoff of the Rebels anyway? It would make sense for Leia or Haldo or another high-ranking official to place specially selected individuals in a guard-like position, as the Resistance is a military unit. We don't see anything like that in canon though, and while scripting this video I searched for hours on Wikipedia for something that could count as a guard, and there just simply isn't anything in the official canon yet. So we're getting creative with the Resistance Honor Guard. The First Order though has three solid options to choose from. Like the Empire, they had riot control troopers also, and in Episode 7 we see the riot trooper known as Nines dual fin on Takodana. Nines was actually an old squad mate of Finn's before he defected, so that fight was more personal than the film made it look, but it still showed that a riot trooper can keep up with a lightsaber. Episode 8 introduced us to the other two options, and those are the First Order Execution Troopers and Supreme Leader Snoke's Praetorian Guard. Instantly, I would have to say I'd prefer the Praetorian Guard over the other two, as they're similar to the Royal Red Guard and just all around are way more badass. The eight guard we see in The Last Jedi gave Rey and Kylo a run for their money, but in the end were defeated by the two Force users. I would love the chance to play as these guys in Battlefront 2. Those are my ideas for the soldiers that could fill the role of guard class in Battlefront 2. Now, when it comes to abilities, I'd assume the guard would have all similar moves, just like how the enforcers and aerials all have variations of the same abilities as each other. Since they're all good shots, I could see them have an ability like the Assault's Flash Pistol, where they can pull out a blaster at will, so they're not just limited to melee attacks. Other abilities I'd imagine they would have would be a temporary damage buff, similar to the Ewok's Valiant Horn, and maybe a variation of a shock grenade or some kind of shock trap that can help them close the distance. These abilities would be consistent between all factions, with just some minor changes to fit the specific guard. Since they're a melee class, I could see them with 500 base health, giving them some leeway since they need to get close, but that would involve a slow health regeneration as a balance. I don't know about you guys, but I think a guard class could be cool in the game. The specialist and the lightsaber users demonstrate that melee attacks are a viable option, and having an entire class based around it could really spice it up. But again, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments section. I appreciate you all stopping by the bazaar. If you're a new viewer, I hope you consider becoming a subscriber, and don't forget to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed today's content. This has been your boy, Turkish Delight, and I will see you all out on the battlefront. Peace.